YouTubers, it's Nat. Um, coming to you today on a beautiful fall day. Uh, it's really, really cool here and I love this season. This is my favorite season. So I have my windows open behind me and behind the camera. So if you hear some noise from outside, bear with me, okay? Um, I wanted to do a lock maintenance video. Um, I won't be doing my hair, but I'm gonna tell you about the products that I, I use and how I maintain my locks. And by the way, do you like my style? Yes, yes, yes. Um, my girlfriend, Winnell, who is my lock stylist, uh, was in town this weekend and hooked me up with a beautiful lock bun and twisted my locks up and they're nice and neat and beautiful and so I thought I'd put some makeup on and you know look a little cute today um, <laughs> so uh, lock maintenance I am pretty simple when it comes to lock maintenance um, I wash my hair every week that's been my norm um, and and that might change a little now that the season is changing uh, during the summer I sweat a lot and I sweat in my hairline a lot so I definitely was washing every week because my hair would just get bushy and sweaty and it was just nasty and who wants their hair to smell nasty so um, now that the seasons changing and we're in the fall going into winter I'll probably wash it once every other week once every three weeks just depending I mean I wash it whenever I feel I need to wash it really um, and I will probably not be retwisting my roots quite as much in the winter months. Um, I, I have been kind of, well, before the summer, I was doing a, a revised freeform where I was just retwisting like the front uh, row of my locks, like around my hairline, and kind of letting the rest go because I wanted my locks to get nice and thicker. Um, so I'll probably be going back to that. Um, also, I've read a lot that twisting your roots too often can weaken uh, the root bed of your hair, which um, I guess that depends on how you're doing it, how tight you're doing it, um, and how thick your hair is to begin with. And my hair is pretty thick, so um, I don't necessarily think I have anything to worry about, but I'd rather err on the side of caution. Um, so, okay, maintenance. I wash and shampoo and wash uh, and condition my hair with Paul Mitchell products. Right now, um, I am using, which I am completely in love with. These are um, Paul Mitchell's Tea Tree Special line, and this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. And this stuff is awesome. It has tea tree and peppermint and lavender and it is just oh my goodness if you want your hair even whether you have locks or not if you want your hair to feel so fresh and so clean this is the line of product to use I'm telling you I am so in love with this stuff it is like a spa treatment when you take a shower it's it's amazing um, what I do because I've uh, read about, you know, just build up with products that you use in your hair, is uh, I will water it down a bit um, and put some in a water bottle, a spray bottle. Um, I also like the fact that it helps to evenly distribute the shampoo in my hair. Um, since, you know, when you have loose hair, you can kind of rub it around in the palm of your hand and kind of spread it all over with locks you don't really have that kind of coverage You're kind of only hitting the top and the outer area so I put it in a spray bottle and like hold my locks and spray it throughout and then I scrub and get my roots and all of that so um, that might be something you might think about trying um, the conditioner I just put in straight just because I don't really use a lot of conditioner um, to me uh, conditioner is a detangler although it also softens your hair but it's a detangler which defeats the purpose when you're locking because you're trying to make your hair tangle so I don't really use too much um, conditioner but I just put it in my hand rub it and rub it through get it in through the roots let it sit for a little while and then I rinse it out um, I also 
add to my shampoo, um, not always, but a lot, is um, Castile soap, peppermint Castile soap. This is the end all and be all of any soap. And I use this on my body. Um, I use this to clean things. This soap is amazing. The brand is not important. Um, a lot of people use Dr. Bronner's. Um, I have, I get whatever's on sale, whatever's the best value. Um, you can find a lot of deals on this kind of soap on eBay. Um, if not, you can just do searches on Google and find places that have it. You can buy it up to a gallon size bottle. Or this is the size that I normally buy. And um, it's great for everything. It's also great in your hair. It will make you feel cleaner than you've ever felt. Uh, if you use it on your body, I mean, um, if you're using it in your hair, I would definitely say to dilute it. In the shower, I don't dilute it for my skin, for my body. I just add it to whatever shower gel I'm using. Um, so I don't necessarily dilute it with water um, like I would if I were putting it in my hair. Um, the best thing that I have found um, when you're talking about buildup in your hair and really cleansing your locks is this <laughs> apple cider vinegar you cannot go wrong with an ACV rinse um, which is what it's commonly called um, again this is like just a generic brand um, I know some people like to use just organic apple cider vinegar um, I haven't used organic so I can't really say that I prefer one over the other this has been working perfectly fine it's cheap at the grocery store and that's what I buy um, what you do is you use the apple cider vinegar you dilute it and what I do is I put it in a water bottle and I spritz it throughout my hair this is after you condition um, after you shampoo and condition you're gonna go ahead and spritz it through now I've heard of two things um, either you can rinse it and let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it out with some water or you can leave it in your hair as a leave-in conditioner the one thing I'll caution you is it is vinegar so it's not gonna smell pleasant um, just expect it while your hair is wet you will smell it but once it dries you won't smell it any longer um, what I like to do is add, um, I know you probably can't see this, but this is essential oil. I definitely use essential oils with my hair, and this is lavender. So I'll add lavender essential oil to help the smell. Um, also, it's great for your hair. Um, back to the ACV, though. It has so many wonderful things that it does for your hair. One is that it... it lays the hair shaft back down so that your hair reflects light instead of